We are your home theater and AV questions answered. This is AV Rant. Want your home theater or AV question answered by Tom and Rob? Send it to question at avrant.com. Welcome to AV Rant. I'm Tom Mantry and I'm here with Rob H. Well, Will's room is roughly 3,500 cubic feet in air volume, but is L-shaped. So even though he's using four subwoofers, two energy, one Dayton, and one Velodyne, and his Moran's SR6011 has Odyssey Multi QXC32 with sub EQ, blah, 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 HT, he's finding it a bit difficult to get truly uniform base across all of his seats. I feel like I've seen this room before. You I've have? seen this room before. Yes. All right. More than that, he's just interested in being able to measure and calibrate his system. He's heard about uh, measurement mics like the Behringer 8000 or the U-Mic or the U-Mic 1, mm -hmm. as well as from EQ Wizard and Mini DSP. But can we spell it out for him? What will he need in order to measure and properly calibrate his four subwoofers? Sure. Yeah, we can calibrate it. Okay. First of all, uh, Gene did that big, uh, over at Audioholics, did that ah, big right, thing right. about his room. Was mm -hmm. it videos or was it articles? No, that was an article. That was an article. You need that first of all, find that article. Okay. And we'll put a link up on uh, our, our website for that. Mm -hmm. He has an L shaped room. Yep. Okay. So he has gone through everything you're going to go through. He didn't have a staircase. He does have a staircase, but it's got a door, so that's not a problem. But um he's got an L shaped room, so he what he did. You can just kind of look at that and say, this is what he did. I should do something similar. It was painstaking the way Gene did it. It was painstaking. But that at least, is, you know, they've got the same room as you and mm -hmm. you can kind of deal with it. Now, he's also got gazillion room treatments in that room. Yeah. I mean, uh, Oral X came and treated his room and it's just. And he wound up with five subwoofers. Yeah. Yeah. So well, the way that. he did it. Yeah. Right. Uh, but there's actually now, because at the time Gene did that, we didn't know about this software. Okay. So there's a piece of there's a piece of software that can totally help you out. All right. Um, so we'll have the link for that. Uh, the link for it is a little bit hard to describe in words. So come to avrant.com. We'll have the link for it. Um, but yeah, what did it, what they get you to do? So they they recommend you get a U-Mic one. So we're going to tell you get a calibrated one from Cross Spectrum Labs. Right. Because the increase in price is barely anything, and you'll have a super accurate microphone. So get a U-Mic one. Uh, Spectr Cross Spectrum Labs is also selling mini DSP units. So just order them both at the same time because they're not charging any extra. So get yourself a mini DSP and a calibrated U-Mic one, both from Cross Spectrum Labs, and download Room EQ Wizard, which is free software. So that's the equipment that you need. Then, uh, this does only run on Windows, but this, this software that we're talking about, um, what you do, they have the instructions, so follow their instructions. Right. And what I'm going to suggest is follow their instructions for a subs only calibration because they do also have one which is supposed to help you integrate your subs with your front main speakers but that can be done in your AV receiver you don't right. need your mini DSP to be doing that for you so they have a, a, a procedure for subs only uh, so if you yeah, want to look up multiple subwoofer optimization software it'll probably come up if you can't wait for that link to show up um, but yeah follow their instructions, what they'll get you to do is take uh, individual measurements, one subwoofer at a time, and they will, and they'll get you to measure in multiple locations. And that's very important. So you're going to be using your U-Mic one, you're going to measure one sub in multiple locations, measure your second sub in all those same locations, third sub, and so on. You'll have all those measurements, you plug it all into the software, and it is going to spit out a bunch of settings that they will tell you to plug into your mini DSP. Now, this is going to work just fine. The mini DSP has two inputs and four outputs. So it'll give you four sets of settings. You're going to mm -hmm. use all four of those outputs. The trick, the one trick, and they mentioned this in the uh, instruction for this uh, software, but I'll mention it right here. You actually, since you have a uh, AV receiver that can do independent subwoofer outputs, you don't want to use that. You want to tell your Marantz that you only have one subwoofer. Right. That's that's the trick. You actually want to tell it that you only have one subwoofer. You're going to take that one subwoofer output, plug it into your mini DSP. So there's going to be a second input that's just left blank. That's fine. The mini DSP is going to do all the work of putting in all these settings that this software came up with to program your four individual subwoofers and feed all of them from the mini DSP. 
that's about all there is to it. It does all the painstaking trial and error stuff that Gene did manually with graph paper. The software <laughs> takes care of doing that for you. It's much easier. <laughs> Now, let, let's uh, back it up just a little bit because we you spun through this, and he did say let's go through this in detail. So yep. one thing that we, we mentioned very quickly was getting a calibrated mic from Cross Spectrum Labs. Now, yep. Cross Spectrum Labs has been a friend of this podcast for a long time, and I've got no problems recommending him. This is Herb, uh, who's over there. They What they do, so you understand what you're buying. You're asking, your, 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 you have to get the U-Mic 1 to use this program, right? The U-Mic 1 is, you know, made in batches, right? Mm -hmm. It's made in batches, and they're tested periodically and everything else. And there's probably some calibration files out there. What is that? You plug in this kind of uh, response curve, like a correction curve, into Room EQ Wizard. It's very easy to do. You just say, what mic do you have? I got this one. And it's like, do you, you know have a correction file and it's very easy to do they'll walk you through it what herb does is he takes and buys a u mic one for you he takes that mic he compares he, he measures a you know sweep or a frequency response or whatever he does with his professionally calibrated like ten thousand dollar microphone mm -hmm. right so he knows what sound is actually should be measured with this microphone this microphone tells him this is the this is this is the true graph of this thing mm -hmm. then he takes and measures the exact same thing with the exact same location with a u mic one the one he purchased for you he then takes and says okay this is the graph i got with my professionally calibrated absolutely 100 percent accurate microphone this is what i got with this u mic one i bought for my friend will right <laughs> so now I know the differences. I can calculate the mm -hmm. differences. So we take he takes and calculates the differences and then makes an individual correction file just for that microphone. Yeah. The differences in price are so negligible as to be laughable. I mean, it's like what? 20 bucks, something like that? I don't know what it is. It's very cheap. I don't even know if it's that much, yeah. I, I, last time I checked, I think $20 is being generous. But <laughs> it really is. And you get a microphone that is calibrated specifically that's it you're not going off of something you downloaded from you know avs forums or something like that it is a calibration file is it worth the extra money absolutely you know i mean this i can't even believe this service exists but this is this is a perfect <laughs> example of why you you know uh, uh of how you can get yourself in the best possible that's going to make this entire thing better Anything that this program, and it's called MSO, which is multi-sub optimization, but that's what the program's okay. called, MSO. The, anything that MSO does is going to be better because you've got a mic that's calibrated. It is completely yeah. worth the cost, right? Room EQ Wizard, there's tons of tutorials on that, on how to do it. This this MSO page that we're going to send you to walks you through. It's a very long page, and it's, uh, it looks like it was made in MS-DOS in the days of MySpace. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's nothing MySpace. fancy, but it's, you, just, you just follow the instructions. That's all you need. So. And it's, it is step by step, and it yep. says, I like this part, okay, and over here is where our form is. Don't post, because <laughs> <laughs> keep reading until you get to the end, right. which I appreciate. So, uh this is it's going to be a pretty powerful program for you, and you should be able to run through this. I mean, it, it, going from start to finish. I mean, you know, carve out a Saturday afternoon. I think should might be, be a little bit more. Let's carve out a weekend because you yeah. know this is your first time doing it. First so. time doing it, you're going to download some, some stuff. There. There's a learning curve there and stuff like that. So contact Herb, contact uh, and tell him that we sent you. And uh, yeah, let's say uh, let's know how this works out for you. Want your question answered? Send it to question at avrant.com. A.V. Rant. 
No, go out and listen to something. <laughs>